Hello and welcome to this section. Super excited to have you on board. We're going to be talking about Elastic Cloud Compute or EC2 for short. This is the core computing service in AWS. It's going to be very interesting to find out how it works. And in this tutorial, we're going to start off by understanding what EC2 actually is. So imagine a an, an ordinary computer or an ordinary server and the key components that make it tick. So we have a processor, absolutely crucial to have a processor. Without that, nothing will work. Uh, we have random access memory or RAM for short. Also, without this, nothing's going to work. Uh, then we have HDD and SSD. These are crucial for having some sort of storage. And uh, there's a network card for communication with the outside world. So those are the key elements that are required for um, a typical server to work. And EC2 is this part. EC2 is the combination of the processor and the random access memory. And if you keep this visual in mind, it will help you remember uh, how to think about EC2. EC2 is the um, li little engine that crunches all the numbers inside, a, inside your AWS um, architecture. And uh, uh, of course, it doesn't look like an individual server. What it looks like is racks and racks and racks of servers. So this is a photo from uh, a server warehouse. What are the use cases for EC2? EC2 use cases include, um, first of all, it should be your default go-to computing service unless you have specific requirements or so you need to do something else. Um, it's good for hosting applications and websites, uh, development and test environments. It's good for disaster recovery, high performance computing, big data analytics, in-memory databases, machine learning and AI, graphics, workloads, and video rendering. So those are some of the main use cases for EC2. That's our quick intro to this section. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you throughout the tutorials. We're going to learn a lot about the service. Until next time, enjoy the cloud.